All right, hello everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well and had a good weekend. Let's get back into action and let's start. Now, this is gold. I actually just entered the trade at 6.20, just after 6.20. As you can see, that finished off here. This is a 15-minute chart, but let's take a look at where we're at. Now, on Friday, I said you could buy this zone at the Astro Hour. If you bought here, you should have been okay going up to that. Remember 2015? was our target and it made that 2015 on Friday as you can see here pretty much okay so it's, it's actually done it now today the market went up I tweeted yesterday that we might have a sudden move in the opening um, and you know as you can see there's a bit of a sudden move also on the 15 minute chart you can see on the SP 500 there's a big up move you know the market opened with a gap basically all right so but let's take a look at what's going on now remember on the weekly last week we were buyers from the lows okay because it was a swing day Wednesday so we went up now if you took technical analysis from me you know what's going on here so this zone is going to be a reversal zone now on the one hand we've got room to go up on the PST indicator on the other hand we're right in the middle of the channel do we want to push this up? I think we can push this up a little bit more, um, but we'd like to come back down. And if that's the case, why did I sell it today? I sold with a smaller lot size and I sold here because I had a, I had two, in fact, I had one, two, three, plus a fourth Astro event. Um, just on one scale and another two on another scale okay so that's what prompted me to kind of like short it here because normally i wouldn't go against the pst breakout in any case i entered with a smaller lot size because i am against the move right now today for gold is also a, um, a swing day right so today is a swing day for gold so selling the high is not a bad idea okay but because we're against the move i thought i'd do it with a small tight stop loss and a smaller lot size now this is already covered because as you know i open up two trades and i covered the trade in this level already the rest <clears throat> well i'm going to follow until the weekly pivot but i'm going to see how things go because we've got astro hours <clears throat> which might be impacting us in a few hours all right which i have already posted the swing hours and the swing days in the members area so with gold what to do now remember overall the market is trending up okay on the week you see we've got higher highs higher lows going up no big deal on the monthly though we're on a sideways market all right as you can see here so this is the monthly and this is what it's looking like so from this zone market might also want to retrace back, which is fine. Also on the daily, as you know, we've got levels on the daily where the market should come back down and fill in. All right, so these levels, the market should see again, sooner or later, one, one way or another. It could take a while, okay? Um, but I don't think it's going to take like ages. So... I don't mind shorting the highs. Okay, I don't mind shorting the highs. And I don't mind buying the supports because we're intraday short-term trading. So if the market comes back down into the weekly pivot there or slightly under in between the daily and the weekly at an astro hour, um, I will want to go back up again. Why? Because it's going to close that gap here at the top of that day. All right, which is 2008. So if I put 2008 here, as you can see, it's right in there. It's right in the middle there. Okay. So this zone is not a bad spot to get back in, um, into trade. Okay. Now, this is also, this level here can be a little choppy because we still got some hours. Um, actually, the market should, yeah, should see what's going to happen we, we should see around now because it's an astro hour what's going to pan out all right and if the market hangs around here and retraces up 
selling again might not be a bad idea at all. I am expecting some sudden moves towards lunchtime and also in the pre-open, pre-session New York and into the first hour and a half of the New York session, all right? So, but once we find direction, I've noted it all down, we, the market should carry on going until closing, all right? So we're gonna have to be careful. I think it's, it's an okay and a nice day to trade gold today. So this is why I was like, okay, to get in there, even though I was against the move, all right? So that's that. So this is how you can pan it out. Basically, let's summarize it. The highs are okay to sell down, okay? And the lows are okay to go up. And there is a target up there, 54, 56, 57. 54, 57 there, which is 2029, 2038. So if the market does start to push up, 2027 is there, and that's your first target there. And then I've got 2000. 37 38 right there okay so if the market does come back down and start pushing up then we might see a higher move no problemo i don't mind going back up with the gold either all right so this is why i said buying the lows are okay and this trade is already covered so no problem let's do sp500 now with sp500 as you can see we had a good fall on friday Okay, I just drew this line. If you're using your ATAM strategy, you can do that. If it goes back up to touch it, you can sell it off. On the weekly, the market is still going up. If you want to buy or sell, we're going to have to be careful. A sell level on the weekly is 76, which is 5,051, which is already there. Okay, so that's a level the market may reach and then sell off. The second option is, we go down first 51 4956 is a good level to buy 4956 which is there all right so if the market does come down here it's a good level to buy here if you take a look at the weekly coming back into the 71 is also okay which is 4968 so 4968 is down here. All right. So selling into this zone, I think, is okay. And you also have to be careful for this 4975 because a lot of buy orders came in there, all right? Because that's the volume level. Okay. So if we go up here at Astro Hours here or there, I think we're okay to sell off and push further down, okay? And because SP500 has got a swing day Tuesday, that could happen Tuesday. So we could go a bit sloppy sideways today or slightly upwards. And as we touch it tomorrow or in the Asia session, that can happen there. Okay, that could, like I say, it could happen in the Asia session as well. And we could see the market reversing uh, in the Asia session tomorrow as well. Okay, so that's that. Um, so if you want to go up as well, just be mindful of the gap here, all right? If the market wants to come down to the weekly and then go up, it's doable. So these levels, although I haven't highlighted them, they're already on the system. They're always on the system. So you've got to take note of them, despite the fact that I'm adding these from the PST levels. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now the euro dollar weekly, as you know, last week it was okay to buy. So can we still go up? Looks like we still have a bit of room to go up there, but this is a runner. So you're gonna have to be careful, right? So that's the impulse wave. And this is a runner, okay? So this zone, as you can see. Now you can also put this up here because if the market does go up this is where we might actually be coming to all right coming in there so this is a resistance level so you'll need to be careful for that 
is there. Okay. On the PSC, we've got 55. If the market dips back down to 380735 before it goes up. 0735 is here. This is before it goes up. Okay. This is a, let's get into a 15 minute chart. Now, last week, I also said you could buy at the 0740 zone at an astro hour. Market dipped in there and that's the astro hour and then just pushed back up. So if you did that, you also would have been okay. Let's take a look. This is the weekly pivot. So this zone is where a gap is. So if the market comes down here, to go up and then sell off, we're okay. I'm just gonna adjust that to 54, 55, 55 there, 1.08, 28, 31. So this is gonna be 31, 08, 28, 31. All right, so this is a zone to market May target because the PST level. So buying the reversal, the retracement that is to go up is not a bad idea. As you can see, there's no gap here. So the market might just push at the first support level, which could be the daily and the weekly down here. It's not a bad idea because this is where the push happened. That will also fill in some gaps if we come down here. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of this. This is already done. All right. And that's that. Okay, and if you want to sell, what should you do? Well, um, the market, like I said, still got room to go up here because of that weekly pin bar, nice and easy there, okay? A support is that 44 level, 0757. Let's see where that is. 0757 is right there. All right, so this is not a bad spot if the market wants to come back down. And it's nicely filling in as well. So if it's an astro hour coming down here, going up is not a bad idea. The manipulation is here, but that's not really the manipulation. This is going to be the fair value gap that you're going to be looking at for to push up. Let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Bitcoin. The reason is it hasn't broken higher than that. That's why I wouldn't take that. But we're trading according to astro hours anyway. So where price meets time, you should be okay. Rightio, so this is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, last week, Friday, highs, astro hours, good fall, coming to the targets I noted, and bouncing around. So that's all fine, as you can see. Now, this zone was a buy level, so going up from here was okay with us, as you know, and the market's selling sharply, closing below that. Is a, it's not a bad sign of maybe the market pushing down, but, but, as you can see, this market move is still up there. Now, if we go to 51 or 48, which is what? 17594520. Let's take this 520. So we have to. We can target these levels if you're going to short it. I am now going to, I'll keep this there for a moment. Let's take a look at the weekly. Now, where can you sell as well if you want to sell? Because I don't think selling is a bad idea. Like I said, the NASDAQ swing day is also Tuesday. So coming up to that 7172, which is 17854 and 18,001. eight five four is said this is a nice spot to sell off okay slight gap here so if the market sweeps closes below it's nice okay the other one is eighteen thousand and one if it surprises everyone and just touches that eighteen thousand there all right and you know and then starts pushing down don't be surprised but at astro hours i think selling is okay at these levels all right as you can see there and there all right so you can take those two ranges if you want okay so this is going to be one and this is going to be two all right astro house all right that's nasdaq to sell off 
Then you've got targets down here. Now, once this breaks out, just be mindful these are even lows, okay? So if it comes down, sweeps up, and then goes up to sell and then down, is not a bad idea. If it breaks below this, closes below this, hits that, goes back up, then selling again is going to be an option because on the weekly, you've got 64, 62 down there, which is 17... 382 382 okay just there and 232 which is right there okay so we've got targets on the lower side so selling at the astro hours is not a bad idea okay if the market makes a sharp move up um, then you can think about selling at astro hours here as well or like i said up there i think the same thing will go for dow because they're all doing the same thing on the weekly i've got 78 39 okay but which is a bit out there as you can see 39 i'll just put it in there this is the okay level to sell off on the daily on the daily what 68 39 373 that's going to be a bit far out we'll only cross that bridge if we go above that on the monthly 65 39 so 39,016, 35. This is not a bad place to be selling off. All right. Oops. At Astro Hours, if we get up there, it's okay to sell down. And you can expect sudden moves as well in the market, like I said, in the US session. All right. Um... And then what targets do you have? You got this one, HCL 138442. 38. Double four two is going to be here. And then you got 45, which is 38162. 38162 is down. Whoops, see that easy down there. On the weekly, if the market does push down, you want to keep an eye out for 74, which is 38472, which is right there. Okay, so this zone is going to be important 38472, which is pretty much there. there all right so be careful for this zone because as you can see that's your zone there all right let's take a look at bitcoin let's see what this baby did on the weekend all right so this is bitcoin we're still in that zone okay but what can you do the market's still going up so it might have a target of 85 which is 85 is a bit too far out there, so I don't have a number for that. But if you're using your ATM, you could follow that through. If you want to buy this at these levels, I don't know, it's a bit tricky. But let's target 86. We can't target 86 here because this, this is also like too far out. Okay, so a bit too far out. On the monthly, we're already above that. We had that 53.369 from before. The market hasn't done that yet, as you can see. Let's do this on the, this is the monthly, right? Yeah, so that's better. All right, and that's that candles gap there. All right, which is pretty much on the dot. Okay, so the market might wanna fill that out as well, but this zone, like I said, is a bit of a tricky zone and don't wanna be dealing as a buyer in this zone okay you might want to sit it out wait for a new setup 
and see how things go. You don't have to trade stuff every day.